Hi, YouTube. I'm Kurt Metzger. And I'm Joe DeRosa, and this is Overrated. Where we break down the things in pop culture that are overhyped. Or in this case, underhyped. That's right. Today, we're breaking down the top five underrated video games, according to us. Yeah, and I'd like to start with a game called The Force Unleashed. It's a Star Wars game where you play a dark Jedi apprentice of Darth Vader who's sent on a mission to take down the Emperor so Darth Vader can finally rule the galaxy for all the horrible things that, that the Emperor did to him in the course of Episode 3, blah, 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 whatever. It's a cool story. It's a, it was a cool story. It's a great story. And people gave this game sixes and sevens. It, what the f*** do you nerds want? Stormtroopers would run away from you in fear and you would throw them out windows into space as they screamed. Yeah. Amazing! Can I tell you what I would have liked? What? A little bit of light lightsaber dismemberment, which they included later, but I don't blame the game. I blame uh, the, the vagina that George Lucas grew after he adopted like seven kids. That's well, it. you know, that's a whole different list. It's just the guy's got low T or something now. All right, next game. Uh, Resistance, Burning Skies for the PlayStation Vita. It is amazing. You run around killing aliens in the 1950s. Awesome, but Everybody's angry about it and says it sucks because the online co-op play isn't that good. Who gives a shit? Are you gonna play online that much against strangers when you're sitting in an airport over 3G service? You're the only guy I know that has a Vita, so you're playing it by yourself. Like, how much are you gonna online play that? I know. Well, the one other guy I know that has a Vita says he thinks it's a shitty game. Oh. We've been arguing about it. All right, I'm gonna try it out because you told me it's underrated. What's our next game? I'll tell you what the next underrated game is, Kurt. It's a little game called Ninja Gaiden 2. Oh, man. Yeah. This is what's so great about part two. It's the, just the pinnacle of ninja violence in a game. Oh, yeah, and they scaled down the violence in Ninja Gaiden 3. Do you realize what a mistake that was? You had so much blood on your sword in Ninja Gaiden. You had to do that. Dude, it was like Kill Bill. You just chop their legs off and they'd be wiggling around in pain. All right, we're getting off topic. Let's go to our next one. Shadows of the Damned. First of all, it's it's filthy and hilarious. Can't you see the little bitch is coming on to me? There's so many like dirty jokes in the game besides the constant violence. Okay. And, uh, it's awesome, dude. It, it just didn't sell. So I don't know if they're gonna make another one. Japan is just out of ideas. They they mean Final Fantasy, and that was their final idea. But Suda 51 guy's great, and he should be supported. Our final one, which is uh, uh my this is what I'm addicted to right now, Joey. Uh, DC Universe Online, which gets maybe a 6 or a 7. It's exclusively for PlayStation 3. MMO, you make up your own superhero. It's real-time action. It's not clicking a mouse and the dude does this. It's not that. It's you got to learn combos. You just convinced me to buy a PlayStation. I'm going to buy one right after this, and it'll make me happy for 7 minutes. It'll fill my depression void. We're just trying to fill the seven. hole inside us, and a lot of you guys aren't helping. So that's our underrated. What did we miss that's underrated? Please tell us. We care so much how you feel. We really don't. That's not, that's kind of sarcastic. Seriously, tell us. Don't. Just let us I don't know care. if we missed one. I don't care. I care. I don't care.